and welcome to me decanting pots of Citadel. Um, I'm a big advocate for decanting. It's straightforward and the dropper bottles are dead easy. Now I'm actually refilling these two that I've decanted previously. Some Lead Belcher and some Retributor. Um, so you need some dropper bottles, some type of funnels and I always use a little bit of airbrush thinner. That just helps everything move across. Now this is just really a matter of cracking the buggers open, make sure they're given a good shake. Um, but then I also put in a small dash of a thinner and give that another shake. Now you don't want to be too heavy because obviously you don't want to water it down too much, but it will aid as a flow aid when you're pouring it into the bowl. Um, if this is a brand new bowl, you just have to assemble it. Obviously in this case i'm stupid enough to have a bottle covered in paint um but yeah though nobody's perfect um add the little funnel and then i do an initial pour as much as i can in um, and just let that run through uh, there's no need to harass it it's not a race it's all nearly all gonna get in there the size of the bottles I use for standard Citadels is 17 milliliter. Um, if I'm transferring contrasts, then I use 20 milliliter. Just find that these are a bit more comfortable and it allows for things like displacement of agitator balls um, in the dropper bottles. So it just means you've got plenty of room. Um, and also means that you can fill these up. Um, quite comfortably so once i've emptied the first one uh, again this is just what will easily pour um just let that settle through again see there's no rush i mean obviously try not to spill it like i did with the lead belcher um but i am a professional idiot um now bear in mind once that's settled down what i do and this is the nice thing about the citadels is with a small funnel they kind of clip on and they self balance and you can just keep them there. Um, gives it every opportunity for most of the stuff. And the important thing to remember is that we really want to transfer as much as possible or as much as viable. So I normally put in a little bit more, just a tad more of thinner. Again, give that a nice prolonged shake and give it another tip and a lock and balance. Again, just giving it the opportunity to drain as much as, as much we can get out there. Um, so the important thing is, particularly with the thicker ones, um, they're gonna they're gonna cling on to the the inside of that pot for dear life. Now to bear in mind this process, and I, I, I don't think anyone's got a perfect process, is you're not going to move 100% of the paint. But when you factor in with the Citadel pots, how much paint goes dry, um, I think it probably balances out better. Now, with a scrappy brush, I just go in there and I give it a scrape. Uh, again, this is something you, yeah, you can do with the thicker paints. Um, you can just get in there, get in the corners and, and scoop it out. Um, it's, it's not rocket science. Uh, you be as methodical as you want. I'm naturally quite tight, so I want to get as much as humanly possible out of there. Um, the key is, once you can start seeing the uh, light through there, you're probably going to get as much paint out there as possible. Um, the important thing now is it done. It's just tidy up. So what I do now is I scrape down all the paint from the funnel. A lot of that would have naturally clung on. And just feed that through again really trying to get as much off there as possible um i mean we probably throw away more every model but you know this, this stuff isn't cheap um then obviously if it's a new bottle i would drop in a agitator seal the bottom up job done um certainly I'm, i get more life out of my paints and the nice thing with the citadels is that the labels come off the pots nice and easily and you can strip them onto the bowl. So I hope that helps. Enjoy decanting and if you need anything, just give us a yell in the comments. You take care. Remember, it's your grey, your way.